hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to talk about uh, two stories one is about uh, emanuela you know the emanuela comedy and the other one is of ned moko's uh, daughter uh, there's a picture or uh, video that is going viral about you know, ned moko's uh, one of his daughters so going back to emanuela so emanuela for any of you watching this video and you don't know her she's one of the you know she's a comedian she's been a comedy you know she's a young comedian she's been doing comedy since she was i don't even know was she two years old you know i don't even know if she was two years old but she was very young for those that do not know her and for those that know her i want to remind you guys how i want to show you guys and re or remind you guys how emanuela went viral i think this is the video that made her viral so i'm going to let you guys watch this video first look at that mistress exactly like to yeah so so that was the video that made a lot of people get to know her and uh, I, I believe that was when she blew up and this girl from that young age you know has been going here and there started traveling i think she traveled abroad by the way she was working with um I think that the man she's working with, or the man that is working with her, they're working together in this uh, comedy thing. I think he's, they said he's, a, he's her uncle or whatever. I'm not sure. So Emanuela, from what I found out, she was born in 20, 2007. So that's about 16 year old. Recently, Emanuela made a video and she posted it and uh, there was an uproar about what she was wearing because she could see a bit of cleavage. And the split of the dress was it was high. And then there's opera. Oh my goodness, this little girl, she's losing her innocence. She's this. Ah, what is going on? This, that. And I looked at that. And what I saw, personally, what I saw was pure hypocrisy. That is what I saw. Pure hypocrisy. And why do I say that? You know, we I don't know if I don't even know if hypocrisy is what I should call it, but the truth is there are a lot of people. That are not in a position to speak about what Emanuela was wearing. A lot. When I say that, what do I mean? If you are one of those people that when society complains. Or people complain about a so-called influencer, celebrity, whatever. When they show too much. When people use their platforms to promote removing, removing, removing. You say hey, anybody can do what they want to do. You are part of the problem. Why am I saying this, right? If you look at our society today, who are the role models? Who are the people that these young girls have to look up to? I, I know some people say, look up to your parents, look up to your auntie, look up. A lot of our parents are not on social media. We cannot deny the power of the internet, the power of social media, the influence that a lot of celebrities and actors and actresses and, you know, people... That are there people with platforms we cannot deny the influence they have on the young generation we can't deny it so if emanuela is living in a world where influencers are coming out and flaunting influencers or whatever you want to call them platform owners are coming out and showing almost everything to the world what do you expect from a young girl growing up and these are the people that are left as examples so if I say, hey, but she's not up to age yet. Is that not still a part of the hypocrisy? Because the thing is this, right? Oh, she's not up to age yet because she's not 18 yet, Abby. But at the end of the day, these are the people available for them to look and see. So then they should wait. Basically, that's what it is. You know, you know, they can't do it yet, but they can do it when they get there. It, basically, she's 16. So she has to wait until midnight of the day that she will turn 18 to them show you guys her cleavage abby what i'm speaking about basically my point is this i'm not coming here to say her way of dressing is right or wrong that's not where i'm going to i'm going to what i would call the root of the problem if the people that society celebrate are people that dress that way don't be surprised when a young girl like her with a platform she's seen these other people with platforms and say that is what society accepts that is what society society celebrates and look up to that i hope i'm making sense so that basically when i saw that that was the first thing that came to my mind is who do you who do who do these young girls have to look up to if not these people that we see all the time that's why when some people complain about the so-called celebrities or influencers or people with platforms. When people complain and say, no, this is too much, whatever. It is not necessarily just about them. 
is about what community or society are we building? What are we teaching to the young generation? But they say, everybody mind your business. Uh -huh. So why are you guys not letting this girl mind her business? Like seriously, let's be honest. At the end of the day, if these are the people that people celebrate and uh, that is what people, society praises, it inspires the younger generation to look up to that. That's basically the truth. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. I don't know what you guys think about Manuela's uh, way of dressing. Okay, that's, leave that, your opinion in the comment section. The other one that I'm going to touch on is the Ned Woko's daughter from one of the several exes that he has. So people keep asking from what the, the what's it called? The Moroccan wife, there was a live video she did in which she said that when she married him, that she didn't meet any woman on ground. So basically from the information that has been, you know, going around is that the man has ex-wives. He doesn't have six wives or seven wives right now. Right now, he only, he only has two wives. The other ones are ex-wives, okay? So this young girl, one of the children of one of his ex-wives. So it was the man's birthday and they were singing happy birthday and uh, the video they posted, Regina posted it and Layla, the Moroccan wife, posted it as well. And uh, people, you know people, some people eye the quick see. When I saw that video the first time, I didn't notice it until the comments started going viral. So comments were going viral that people said that that girl at the back, they were writing some comments that are not very nice about that little girl, to be honest. But people were like, ah, now this one go, people, they have to be careful that this one is a... Uh, uh, what's it called now? Look at this one. Oh, uh -huh. look at this one. Why is this one said? Why is the girl at the back? I was. I want to speak about it in a minute. When you watch that video, or should I read some of the comments? Okay, let me just read some of the comments. I'll say what I want to say in a second. So, for example, this comment says, "Why is the girl on black? Uh, sorry, why is the girl on black polo behind, looking like she's plotting one evil like that in the family?" Another one. Uh, the girl at the back of Regina is not happy. I think she's the one that posted that video of her dad having too many children and blah, blah. Whoa. Like I saw that comment. I never even knew there was anything like that. And said, and uh, but you, if, it, if she did, let's be honest. There is something about when you have so many children that you can no longer have one-on-one. -on -one. That, that girl was upset. The man did not even know. You know why? There are too many people around him. How are you going to have a one-on-one? -on -one? How is he going to have a one-on-one -on -one with any of those children? Like I've always said it, if there was a rewind, if I'm even going to have children at all, I won't have more than three. I won't because I've come to, you know, sometimes there's they say, who oh, no, go, no, no. So basically mean that is what you've, what you've experienced. From what you've experienced, you realize that, okay, if I have to redo it, I will do it like this. From experience, it's good for parents to have one-on-one -on -one with their children. And it's not possible when you have more children than you know, it's like one versus, only you versus, you understand, as a parent, as a father, only you and so many children. As a mother, only you and so many children. How many of one-on-one -on -one attention can you give those children? At the end of the day, so just become almost like just numbers. When you look at Ned Woko, you only see he's carrying Regina's children because they are the youngest ones. So those youngest ones are his pets at the moment, you know, that is pets at the moment. At the end of the day, the older ones will get, end up getting neglected. There's no that one-on-one -on -one daddy relationship because it's not really possible. It's not possible. Then he still has to be trying to bond with his wives and then trying to bond. Okay, anyways. Now, let me, let me just read a few, few of these comments. So this comment says, looks like she's being grounded for life. This one says, it's that young girl in the back for me. Uh, this one, that girl in the black t-shirt is not happy at all. Another one said, we're crying uh, emoji. Another one says, that girl, uh, that girl at the back has serious issues. You don't know her. So how do you know she has issues? That's another thing about when you post children. They end up getting judged for their presence online. And it's not their choice to be posted online. You and I can post ourselves and take whatever comes to us. But these young children didn't choose to be posted. Right? Okay. This person says she has uh, um, serious issues. You don't know her. You never lived with her. So you don't know. And the American version of her, listen to this, they do school shooting. Parents should watch the anger in her heart and get her some help. See judgment already of a young girl. I don't know, maybe she may be about 15 year old, right? The black girl is not happy with Regina at all. See her face like, like you marry my dad because of money. You can't tell me otherwise. Another one says that the threat and strategizing of a polygamous relationship is not for the weak minded. It's worse than Nigerian politics. Forget all the smiles and singing. The real 
thermometer that was what made me laugh this one he said the real thermometer of this situation is the girl in black behind regina all right i never you could use the word thermometer another one says the girl in the black is looking for her mom somebody replied and said you also noticed and they put like a laughing emoji and this one says there's this girl that stood firmly watching regina from the back sorry who is she she's one of his children this girl on black polo has a lot to tell us someone give her the audience it's like if this girl had the chance she may tell us some things about her family that we may be shocked about another one says someone was like a black sheep at the back that's tagging a little girl a black sheep for what we don't know right says maybe she was thinking of number 21 i don't know what that means okay okay now we don't know what happened there but the fact that that picture taking happened cameraman did not the camera person did not spot it because when you want to take pictures typically family photos everybody had to be in their best behavior in their best uh, smile and all of that they didn't capture that because there are too many people in one family right her mother is not there and i can bet you guys the best way for children in polygamous homes to have a great life is their mother being there to fight their own corner. That's what I found. I remember growing up in Benin and there's this man, they said, have had 150 children or whatever. And they said the best, the way he attends to the children is through their mothers. Every mother goes to get the share for her own children because the man cannot really manage all of them. So he manages them through, it's just like, it's like the president and the governors. You get my point? So... You know, your son, the president and the governor. So the president is presiding from the top. The governor is governing the states one by one. Their mothers are the governors and their father is the president, right? So when their mother is not there, who will fight the corner of such children that their mothers are not there? That is one. Another area I want to speak about. We don't know what happened, what is there. But don't, let's not forget that there was this daughter, one other girl that said is the daughter, daughter of a Nedwoko, that very light-skinned girl that used to be very close to Regina. They were very close at the beginning. At the beginning, it looked all rosy. But now, you don't see them together anymore. And um, People say they're falling out. They're no longer friends. But we know people, especially people that post each other on social media, we can see they don't post each other anymore. We've not seen them together again. And I can tell you guys, look, Regina and that girl, if Regina has seen her in one year, or maybe she's even older than Regina. You understand? So it's not easy because Regina is not her mother. It's, let me tell you guys, the way the man provides for Regina there is no way that a girl of her age can see how much Regina has and she doesn't have it. She will feel it. But if Regina was her mother, it would be different. But because Regina is not her mother, there is a way she would feel. My father is giving so much. Regina always posts, her husband just gave her 20 million for Christmas. Just gave her these millions for whatever. The girl may look and say, now my age may be this. So look at what my father is giving her. What is he giving me? Is natural jealousy can happen forget about one on one hand is jealousy between wives but the children it can happen and at the same time like this girl was speaking about i'm thinking she's about 15 i'm thinking she may be about 15 or 16 year old right and she's getting to that age you know where they begin to figure out life figure out life in their own ways and beginning to you know teenagers you know what i mean I don't, we don't know what happened in that, but I'm telling you that she, you see, when, when, when you're able to carry them all along as these are all my children, carry them along and they follow you, follow you. They get to an age where they begin to have a mind of their own and they begin to they be unhappy with one or two things. Right. And um, the point I'm trying to bring out is about polygamy. You now let's speak it. And I always say it's about what will make us think. And hopefully some of us end up changing our thinking. One thing I can tell you about polygamy, polygamy is not about, it's not about the children. It's not, okay, let me put it this way. Polygamy is not something a man does for his children. It is a selfish thing a man does for himself because I want more women to sleep with or I want more children to carry my name. So it's my, my, my. And it is not for the, it's not for the, how do I say it? It's not something that is done for the children. Oh, my children need me to marry another wife. No be so. It is something that is selfish. When I use the word selfish, as in it is something that is about me. I want more wives. I want an I. You see the word I and me and my. I want another wife that I. See, I want another wife that I can sleep with. I want, I want another wife that can give me 
me more children everything is about me i my you get my point but at the end of the day you see my belief is this children is not about quantity it's about quality and if you had so many children and you never had one-on-one -on -one relationship with them why why do you have them why you understand why do you have them that picture says a lot and i will say like i'm saying the biggest thing you see in that picture or that video is that that was happening and this man is there with two wives and several children he didn't notice that somebody was unhappy that is just it was a one minute or whatever two minutes video but that will tell you one of the downsides to polygamy is the fact that some people's feelings may be neglected not because you wanted to, but because you cannot really divide yourself to be able to accommodate everybody's emotions. It's too much. It's even worse for children that their mothers are not present to make sure that their own corner is being fought for. If that makes sense, you know, you know, what I mean? you know what I'm trying to say. So Regina's children will always be fine because she's there. She's looking after her children by herself. Moroccan wife, she's there. She's there for her children. But all the other women that are already gone. Their children, they don't have their own direct voice. Because how many people can sit down and speak to their father at the same time? When he has several of them. You get my point? He has not even finished looking after the emotions of his wives. Then he has to descend to so many children. I, I, I didn't want it to be a long video. It's a bit long already. But what I'm speaking on is the other disadvantage, you know, of a, a polygamous marriage. I don't know. This is how, you know, I see it. And I think more people should think about it. It's not about bringing children to the world. It's not about how far. It's how well. And no, but no parent is perfect. But at least when you have what you can, your eye can reach, at least you'll be able to, to the best. But when there are so many, there is no way you would do it. Some people and their emotions and their feelings, you know, are bound to suffer for it because of the, you know, because the, you know, um, so people end up not getting noticed. That is what I think we can see from that uh, that video. I don't know what your opinions are about these two stories. What do you think about Emanuela? Do you agree with me that the older generation, the so-called influencers or whatever of today, are playing a role, you know, as to how a young girl like Emanuela would want to dress like that? Because they see it. Do you agree with me that they play a role? And uh, do you agree with me as well about polygamy and the disadvantages and the fact that, that some children may end up uh, missing out because uh, there are too many children for the man to be able to actually, you know, keep a good eye um, on them and know how they are doing. I don't know. Whatever your opinions are, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.